America is rewriting rocket history. The age of the chemical rocket, it seems, is over as America prepares to ignite a nuclear furnace in the stars. In fact, a move to greenlight a radical new engine that promises to, uh, to shrink the solar system and also secure the high ground of the second space race stage. Our next story breaking it down and how could this also transform space travel perhaps? The countdown to a nuclear rocket era has begun and this is no science fair project. The United States is building a nuclear thermal propulsion engine that could redefine space travel. Instead of burning fuel like a jet or chemical booster, liquid hydrogen blasts through a compact nuclear reactor. Uranium atoms split, heat radiates outward and hydrogen roars out of the tailpipe at insane speed. This is not fantasy. NASA and the Department of Energy have been quietly refining NTP designs that far outperform chemical rockets. Traditional engines chase thrust with combustion. Nuclear thermal engines does something better by using atomic heat to supercharge exhaust. The result, twice the efficiency, half the fuel and missions that could hit Mars faster than ever. If all goes to plan, the first demonstration could launch by 2027. A milestone that would mark the first nuclear-powered in-space rocket in history. Nuclear rockets won't fire at liftoff. That job still belongs to chemical boosters. But once in space, these reactors deliver relentless efficient power. Travel times to Mars could shrink dramatically, cutting crew exposure to cosmic radiation and slashing mission risk. Some see this as America's next giant leap, a new piece in the evolving space race with China and Russia. Others warn of complexity and safety hurdles. But for now, Washington is pouring resources into systems that could make nuclear propulsion a reality, taking humanity across the solar system faster than ever. We will report Beyond World is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.